Hey YouTube, Shikwin Shub here with a review of the 66 Action Dragon Ball Kai Volume 1 featuring figures 1, 2, 3, and 4, obviously. And this features Super Saiyans of Goku, Gohan, Vegeta, and Trunks. Now, right off the bat, you can tell that they basically released two figures, each with a different head. And called it a day, so much to the point where each figure has the same four additional hands. So, this, this, this feels like the 66 action version of a cash grab, really. But, uh, no more Dragon Ball Kai figures have been announced for this line thus far. Uh, and so I don't know if any are actually going to come, or whether they might reintroduce the line once Dragon Ball Super starts. I have no idea what they plan on doing. So these were released in December 2014, right before the Kamen Rider Volume 4 that we took a look at. I kind of did these out of order, but that is fine. And as with the Kamen Rider releases, if you took a look at those videos, these are Bandai Candy toy releases that uh, cost about 500 yen or so a piece. So you're looking at 3 to $5.00. Uh, so not, not bad at the end of the day. Uh, some places you pick these up might have a little bit of a markup, 800 yen or 1,000 yen or something like that. Um, or HLJ and Amiami sells boxes of these of 10. The Dragon Ball line, I don't know how readily available those are because it didn't do too well. So you might be able to find these pretty easy even though they were released six months ago. So these stands are like a weird fusion of what we will get and what we had in the past. In the past, which was three Kamen Rider sets, we got little stands like these that were basically just slot the figure's feet in here and this will help them stand. And then you can uh, hold the additional hands that came with the figure inside little holes. Uh, in the fourth Kamen Rider set and the first Ultraman set, uh, we got stands like these that were all, hey look, these two of the same pieces, we'll stick them together and you can hold the hands in a weird vertical manner that just looks really stupid. Um, but they are pretty functional stands, I will <laughs> I will give them that at least. Uh, but the, the method of displaying the hands was really weird. So this is like a weird precursor to those and an upgrade to the normal stands. So basically the old stands were just this. But now we have a little peg in here that will allow the figures to plug into the port on the back and then they can stand up like this. Now naturally there's no arm on here so they're all floating which actually works fairly well for the Dragon Ball characters so in this regard I don't particularly care uh, all too much that they don't touch the ground since Dragon Ball characters flew a lot or hovered a lot so I'm perfectly okay with that. Plus if you don't want them to hover you can take them out of the stands and plug them in the old-fashioned way, and you have a stand like that. So, I actually really like these stages, especially for the Dragon Ball uh, figures, because it, it definitely works um, completely. And then, of course, you can store all four hands down here at the bottom, which is definitely the way that I like to see these stands over what uh, the Kamen Rider Volume 4 and Ultraman Volume 1 gave us. But uh, moving along to the actual figures... Um, I, I like these uh, quite a bit, actually. Uh, they're perfectly in scale with the Kamen Riders and the Ultraman, since uh, all the 66 actions are obviously 66 millimeters, hence the name. So there's no problems with any scaling if you wanted to stand your Goku next to Kamen Rider thighs or something like that. Uh, so you, you could do that. There is a nice little swivel here in the chest, full rotation. Most of these are ball and socket joints, a single joint at the elbow. Full rotation on the fist, single joint at the knee, ball and socket joints at both the thighs and the feet. So, and, and at the, the neck, of course, as well. So you got quite the range of articulation, but um, like I said, this set is essentially just two figures with different heads. Uh, this is this body with the Goku head. The next one we're going to take a look at is this body with the Gohan head. Uh, so there really isn't um, a whole lot of variation to these like there is with the Ultraman or Kamen Rider sets. Which is probably why it didn't do as great. People probably only bought certain figures as opposed to buying a whole set. But um, overall, it's a nice little representation of Goku. Um, I've got no real problems with the sculpt or the mold or anything. And the head sculpt is pretty great as well. Um, additional faces would have been cool, but at a price point like this and a scale like this, it's something I can easily forgive. Uh, so it, it's a nice little figure. I don't have any sort of loose joints at all on most of these figures, actually. So I have to give them props for that. Um, a lot of times the 66 action, action, I don't know what I just said, but 
Uh, the 66 action line usually has some problems with joints popping out, but that is not the case with these ones. Um, I don't have any problems with any of the uh, Dragon Ball figures whatsoever, which is uh, definitely nice. And with these uh, stands, you can get some pretty cool flight poses as well. Now, I'm gonna, only going to go over the hands uh, for these figures once since they all come with the same hands, even Trunks and Vegeta. Uh, you get uh, these two sort of fighting pose hands right here, and then you get two kind of uh, like Kamehameha-esque hands. I don't know what to call these, but they're also fighting pose uh, hands as well. So those are the only different looking hands, and to switch hands you just simply pop out the fists that they give you and you can put in any variety of the hands, which are actually kind of tight on these. So I'll definitely give them that. So there you go. Simple as that. It's not moving along at a little quicker of a pace. Uh, same tan, flesh-colored uh, hands and stand that is included with Goku. And the same exact body, except this time it is Super Saiyan, I think it's Super Saiyan 2, uh, Gohan's head. Um, there, which which is, is kind of neat. I, w w did this ever actually happen? Um, judging by the fact that he's the same scale as Goku, um, I'm assuming this is going to be like adult Gohan. It's really hard to tell with the head. The head is almost the same. The head is the same. Yeah, that's the same head. This could easily just be Goku, really. But uh, it is marked Gohan, and that is Gohan's hair. Uh, so I don't... did the, uh, People who know Dragon Ball a little bit better than me, even though I've seen every episode multiple times, did, did this ever happen in, in any fashion? Um, I know when he generally wore this clothes in the uh, normal anime... Uh, he was Ultimate Gohan and thus didn't really need to go Super Saiyan because I don't think he could anymore at that point. Um, you could be, you could pretend it's the future of Trunks timeline and do that. I, I hope that was the right arm, otherwise I just made it really worse for him. But, uh, so I, I have no idea if this actually happened. It might have happened in one of the movies or something like that. But uh, as, as a fan of Gohan, it's a figure I'm glad to have. But again, noticing that it's the same freaking face on here uh, is a little bit off-putting, but uh, the hair definitely does make it Gohan in some fashion. But uh, unless you're a really big super fan of Gohan, this figure's probably not really worth picking up. Vegeta introduces us to the Saiyan armor mold. This one being the shoulderless ones that we see most often uh, during the Frieza and after the Frieza saga. But... A pretty simple Vegeta. I mean, there's not a whole lot to this mold. Um, the the undersuit is obviously very plain. You don't really have a whole lot of fabric detailing or anything like that. Though the detail in the armor is pretty good. And he's got his usual Vegeta grimace on his face. As mentioned before, same hands as Goku and Gohan. Just done in white. Same with the stand. Is now white but uh other than that it's a nice little vegeta if you're a fan of vegeta it might be worth taking a look at this guy but again not not a whole lot to it so here is trunks basically the same exact figure but with super saiyan trunks hair and at least i know this did happen he did have this hairstyle in this armor so i am aware that this happened at least um but again i am it, it's hard, a little bit harder to tell with these guys but i'm fairly certain that's the same face so again, I just realized filming this review that these figures not only use the same body, they apparently use the same face, but just switch out the hair to call a new person, which I guess is basically the head sculpts of all Dragon Ball characters ever, really. But uh, other than that, again, if you like Trunks, it might be worth taking a look at this. But obviously, um, if I'm getting a Trunks figure, I would have much rather have seen this in his normal future Trunks outfit. Uh, or something like that, other than basically just rehashing the Saiyan armor because they did it for Vegeta. Uh, so, it's it, it's hard, it's a hard sell with this set. So I don't really know where to even start uh, with this line of figures. One of the greatest things about the 66 action line is it's, it's an affordable way to get a mass amount of figures at one time uh, that are all in scale and have a pretty decent amount of detail. 
And each Kamen Rider set, they would take a look at, um, there's a huge variety between different designs and eras and everything like that, but that, that just isn't the case here with the Dragon Ball line. I mean, you, you have essentially what is just two figures. You have Goku and Vegeta, which is basically all you have in this set. Gohan and Trunks more or less feel like afterthoughts. I mean, they're the same exact molds down to even the face, apparently, uh, with just new hair. Uh, to differentiate them. I mean, Gohan could have easily been um, normal Ultimate Gohan and not have been uh, Super Saiyan. And Trunks could have been in his normal uh, Future Trunks jacket and stuff. And you would have had a pretty great little lineup here. But uh, because of the kind of cop-out way that uh, Gohan and Trunks worked, I'm just not a huge fan. I liked the sculpts. I like the idea. Uh, but the execution in this set it just isn't that good. Uh, if you're a huge fan of Dragon Ball, I do recommend picking up Goku and Vegeta uh, since they match uh, this style uh, pretty well. Uh, Gohan and Trunks is really up to you if uh, if you really like those characters and want representations of them like this. But uh, Goku and Vegeta are really the only two in the set that I can absolutely recommend. I really hope Bandai does decide to pick up the 66 action line again once Dragon Ball Super hits. Um... Uh, unleashing some of the designs from that uh, series, not that we really know of any yet, uh, could be really cool. And with uh, Resurrection of F uh, being pretty popular right now, it'd be a great time to kind of jump back into this line uh, should Bandai want to. So we'll see what happens. Uh, for now, Goku and Vegeta are good pickups. Gohan and Trunks uh, just rehashes, really. So thanks for watching. Take care and have a great one. Bye.